the leader in HD. This is 12 News at 10. On the tech front tonight, new advances in medical equipment are making an amazing difference. Yeah, now a tiny robot is cutting hospital stays, recovery time, blood loss, and pain in women who are undergoing major surgery. Only on 12, a Scottsdale doctor is one of just a few using this robot in the Southwest. This is a radical change from what we've done in the past. You don't have to be an obstetrician gynecologist to see the difference. The way the majority of hysterectomies are done is you make a big incision and then you put in instruments like this and you open up the instruments here and, and another instrument here to hold the tissues back and then the doctors will put their hands in and do the surgery then. The old way versus the new way. Four tiny incisions the diameter of a pen. You put in instruments like this, four instruments, and put in equipment like this. This is hooked up to the robot then. Through the four incisions, then I can remove a uterus this big. From a separate control area, Dr. Burt Webb maneuvers the Da Vinci robot with his fingers and feet. The finesse, the dexterity, the precision is absolutely incredible. The visual clarity is actually better than with my own eyes because everything is magnified. You think of a robot and how's a robot going to do surgery on you. The results surprised patient Kathy Evans. I really have had no pain that, to speak of since the surgery. So that for me was a big benefit because I've had surgery in the past where there is quite a bit of pain. And your hospital stay? I was there overnight, this one night. The standard stay for a typical hysterectomy is two to four days. Uh, and in that, the patients require a fair amount of pain medicine and go home to bed and are not very active. But with the laparoscopic hysterectomy... But they're usually starting to do th more things on day three or four rather than week three or four. Although the Da Vinci robot is growing in popularity, not all doctors are using it. And they don't have a lot of time for the additional training and there is a le the learning curve, which takes some people a little bit longer. And so they can do the old hysterectomy well, and so they continue to do that. Dr. Webb says the old way is still good. It's just the old way. I mean, you put a man on the moon. Now medicine is catching up, and you can do really incredible things through very small pieces of equipment. Uh, it just makes me feel good. It's just amazing. Dr. Webb says women can have minimally invasive procedures, but you need to research your options and do what's best for you. Prostate surgeons and urologists, as well as head and neck surgeons, are all using this current device. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah.